Hey there, Sagittarius. Thank you for watching these tarot. Thanks for being here. Um, yeah, lots going on within the channel. I took a little bit of a vacation, um, needed to revamp a few things in my life. I like to call it revamp. Um, why not? Words matter. Um, and family matters. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, summer vacation with my son. Okay. So. I also got new glasses and that was something I realized through, I, it was Leo's, one of Leo's videos. I couldn't read the cards. And anyway, so this is the no makeup session on She's Tarot. Uh, it's about, oh, it's late. I uh, had a, I had a beautiful nap. And so I wanted to come on and just say, hey, I'm going to do Sagittarius reading. For you, I wanted to shout out to um, any new subscribers. Thank you, all of my subscribers. You're in an automatic draw to win a ukulele. I will show the ukulele at some point. Um, I, so that is a prize draw once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So um, I'm hoping to do that um, for the channel. Also, I have a mic I'm trying to set up because I know when I sort of bounce around on the channel. My voice um, is mute, goes into mute. So I'm working with that. I have a friend who's going to be looking at my whole contraption of this beautiful mic set that I bought <laughs> um, for the channel. And then when I couldn't use it, because I don't know why it doesn't compute with my computer, or my whatever device I'm using. Anyways, I'm trying to get my microphone set up. So uh, with the channel, growing the channel, there's a lot to learn on YouTube. I'm learning as I go. So bear with me while I learn all the ins and outs. There's so I could spend probably um, three whole days learning about different aspects of YouTube, but I am thankful for being... Um, on YouTube with you, the collective, and thank you so much for watching. So I did want to apologize. I think it was Virgo's reading. I said I was going to do, was it Virgo's or Leo's? I'm not sure. Um, one of the latest videos I did, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to do oracles. There was no oracles. I do apologize. I probably will do an only oracle reading coming soon. Okay. So with that, please like, share, subscribe, comment. There's prizes. Everything's in the description box below for prizes, uh, prize draws, for subscribing, for liking. Um, it is free to like, uh, share and subscribe. So please do so. Um, I love what I do and I want to keep doing it. If you like my vibe, please subscribe. Anything else about the channel? Or about tarot. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, not all messages are going to resonate, although I hope it does reach um, anyone who needs to hear um, these messages. Also, uh, gender doesn't matter in tarot. Cross watchers, you are welcome. Um, okay, so we're going to get started with the oracles, and I do apologize to, I think it was Leo or Virgo's um, reading where I did not do any oracles. And I also said, I realized when I rewatched the video that um, I always use the animal or the spirit animal messages um, tarot or oracle. And I didn't, I said, I always use it. It's going to, I'm going to use it. I'm always, I can't do a reading without it is what I said. And then I did the whole reading and I didn't use <laughs> that oracle um animal spirit messages so all the blunders of life anyways so thanks for being here i'm having a uh well i guess a bed head day i don't know anyways so my hair is uh whatever it is okay so it's my new look um all okay, right there we go life purposes from doreen virtue is what i'm starting with it says, builder for you, Sagittarius, your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. I believe that, Sag. All right. Builder is your life purpose. You are great at building. Hmm. And to create. And I should be using my glasses. Okay. 
fairy cards. I love the fairy cards. Okay, so here we go. Actually, I started my 20s using fairy cards because I didn't, well, it took me many years to even understand tarot, the tarot cards. Um, and if I, with YouTube, learning about YouTube is one thing. Uh, I could spend, well, my whole life learning about different aspects of spirituality, esoteric, the esoteric, um, and I love learning about it. So I just cannot not learn about it. So your fairy card, um, Mr. or Mrs. Saj or Miss Saj, ask for help. Ask for help. Um, angels and, no, angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say now, is a time for you to ask for angelic assistance. Okay. So really, really dive deep and from the core of your navel, right here, is where I pray from. I go, <laughs> if I'm praying for something with all my um, earthly being and essence, I pray from the core. So ask for angelic help at this time. Um, Sag. And I will do the animal spirit messages for you. And I do apologize I to any collective that I've missed oracle cards. Sometimes when I want to just dig right deep into the reading, that happens. So I will probably do an oracle only reading this month for the viewers. So the contests are down below. Um, when I hit 1,000 subscribers, there's a ukulele for someone, and I will be shipping that out to you. Um, once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'll be doing a huge prize draw for that. It would make a great gift uh, for someone. Also, um, the zodiac sign that hits the most likes wins a free upload. So I did that for the last month, and. Um, it was Taurus who won. Leo was in a very close second to that. So when you like the channel, you could win a free bonus video upload each month. What else? For the 40th comment also wins. I believe it's a half an hour tarot. And all new subscribers each month are put into a draw for a half an hour reading. Those are So that's what I'm doing. Those are the contests. Fun, fun, fun. Um, okay, for Sagittarius, and I do know my videos are quite long. I do uh, go with how the cards are laid out. I've tr I have uh, twenty minute videos, and I'm happy when they are that. Sometimes, though, um, as a reader myself, I want to make sure the messages are correct in terms of clarification, um, delivering the message. Uh, the angels do come in fast, so sometimes the cards are fast. And I hope, um, if you have any comments about that, let me know. I know I do have longer um, detailed readings for you. And the angels speak fast for me. So they come in very, very quickly. Okay, for Sag. Oh, I like that. Kiwi is your spirit animal. And it says, do a walking meditation each day for the next week. Do that. One week, a walking meditation. So go for a stroll. Um, go for a walk in nature for one week. Just one week. Okay. <laughs> it just says one week only. So once that week's over, then you got to stop doing that. Or continue. Okay, you know I'm kidding. Okay, so any more oracles I want to do? Any more right now? I will do the angel ancestors and keepers of the light at the end. And yeah, I'm just going to dive right into your reading. I'm doing a Tree of Life um, reading, which is... Where's my cards? Oh, which is... Where's my... Where's, I have a channel. Where's my card? So I'm going to be doing um, first with the Witches Tarot, which is very popular amongst a lot of YouTubers, I've noticed. 
and I'm very happy I have them too. Okay, so Tree of Life, we're going to do what you need to learn, okay? And then challenges, any challenges, your guiding card, what's driving you forward, what's moving you, what's um, help, what's, what's your guiding light, what's the reason for your, whatever's going on in your life, what's moving you, what's getting you up in the morning. Okay, we'll say that. Um, and then what's helping you. Okay, it could be a person, place, or thing. Warning sign. Uh, you know, and um, usually it is something that is significant in your life that needs to just be um, highlighted, okay? And then what you need to let go of and also the end result. So we'll do that for you. And yeah, my intro is... Um, me to say that. So I won't say that. My intro is what my intro is. Um, they used to actually call me intro. So that's just a Gemini here. Okay. Also, yeah, I'm a Gemini. So air sign. Sagittarius, if you don't know, you're a fire sign and you have the wand suit is um, Sagittarius. Okay. The Sagittarius are the travelers of the Zodiac. They like to get out, mix and mingle. Um, they, when they go somewhere, they want no drama. Very charming, very chatty, very, and Sagittarius actually is Gemini's cousin. Uh, sign. So there's so much I know about Sagittarius. I've had so many lovely Sagittarius in my life. Um, they do like calm environments. They like to take care of other people. They like to take care of themselves very well too. They're great people. Well, all Zodiacs are. Um, the shadow side of Sagittarius is when things are distraught or stressful or um, they're not getting out as much as they'd like because they are the travelers. They like to go out and see things, do things, you know, go out on the town, go for a walk, for example. These things really, really do help them going for a drive, um, you know, things that will take them out of their um, environment and just go um looking window shopping for example so that's um and when that doesn't happen they feel uh sagittarius usually feel stifled like okay why aren't we going out or if people around them in their environment are not happy they're like <sighs> that's all i can so yeah and then they want to go out and just um get out of dodge <laughs> we'll say so anyways for sagittarius thank you for these messages angels guides ancestors thank you for these healing messages for the good of all protecting these messages for sagittarius for the collective the cross watchers too um for their highest good protecting with the universal white light energy so i am an empath uh a reiki healer, chakra balancing. I've done tarot since I was 20 something, early 20s, very early 20s. I'm 47 now, so that's a long time. But tarot does take a long time to learn. And there's always something to learn. And I love learning. So as a Gemini, that's sort of our thing. We, we, we are thirsty for knowledge. All right. So for Sagittarius. Okay. So I've been shuffling, so that clears the energy of the cards, and we're going to do your reading, what you need to learn, challenges for October 2023 for Sag. Thank you. I do like when they flip out rather than pulling cards. So that's sometimes what takes the channel um, longer. I do prefer that, but I do know that um, I can pick cards too when need be. So what you need to learn is the star card. That's the most beautiful wonder, like that and the sun card, which is Leo. Um, also a Sagittarius. I mean, also, <laughs> yeah, Leo's also a Sagittarius. No, Leo's also a wand suit. Sorry, I, it's like midnight here, so uh, bear with me. Um, 
the makeup. Hmm. I just wanted to come on and really do a reading for the channel for you. Okay, so you have the star card. That's Aquarius. Um, and then you have the Ace of Swords, which is in your challenge position. So having what you need to learn um, is your dreams, wishes, desires, all that you want to do in life. Um, you What you're needing to learn is that they, whatever it is that you believe in, whatever it is that you want, your wishes are fulfilled. We're born to this earth with the, um, automatically we're born to um, have our wishes fulfilled, okay? that And then learning the purpose through that, how to achieve that, we can make that very, very hard on ourselves, um, you know, the timing of it. Why is, why is, why is, are my dreams not fulfilled? Um, you know, we have these questions. We have dreams. We're born to dream and to, um, have a purpose. We all do. And to, um, embody that, whether it's work related, career, um, partnerships, friendships, you know, anything that our wishes are, our purpose for being is, well, you're a builder. That's what it says, okay? So from the life purpose that you're building, you're very good at building. So building that success, I can't show you much of the star card, but it's the most, it's the best card you can get. And so um, for you, Sagittarius, is really knowing that your wishes are yours already. Your dreams are yours. You're, they live within you. So bringing them to the world, bringing them to light, bringing your dreams and your your wish fulfillment is a birthright of ours. Um, we're given that as, as soon as we're born, we have the birthright to achieve success, um, master our goals, you know, have whatever life that we want. We can design our own life through the power of ma manifestation. Um, many things like that. I would suggest um, a journal for you about all of your dreams, all of your wishes, everything you want in life, map it out and then go back to it and just say, check, check, check. See how that works for you because that works really well for me. And if you do have really high uh, dreams that maybe you haven't spoke of or you're not ready to um, move towards, you're needing to learn that you embody um those gifts and talents. We're all born with beautiful gifts and talents and um, a beautiful way of expressing ourselves in any sort of fashion in, in terms of any dreams we have. So if you're holding on to a dream, you haven't let anyone know about it, your wishes are fulfilled, you're needing to pursue that. So I, I'm going to leave that there. That's beautiful. The star card is the best because you actually need to work for it. Um, work as an inner work, knowing your worth, many things like that. So that is what you're needing to learn, achieving your dreams. Map it out in a journal, on paper, everything you want for the next 20 years. Write yourself a letter um, and just say, this is what I'm, this is what I want for myself in two, two, three or five years. Open that letter. We know this from, you know, people that have done so. And, oh my God, there it is. Everything I wanted is there. The power of manifestation can be done so many ways. Really um, learn if you can, or if you need to learn more about that. There's so much on, so much on, um, if you want to read the secret, of course it will, or watch the secret. Um, it will, I hope I can say that on YouTube. Um, it's a book. Uh, please just look into that. Look into the law, the laws of the universe and how that can work for you. You are a builder to create. That's what Doreen Virtue's life purpose said. And then your challenge is the ace of swords. So a new beginning. Uh, and this is something to do with education. Education. Sorry. Here, let's go to my. Midnight coffee. Okay, so um, 
Ace of Swords. So that's your truth, your true as your true essence. This is divinely given. Uh, a new beginning of some kind, uh, education possibly, um, learning a new skill, adding to your resume, anything to do with um, learning. That is what this is, but is your truth. It's divinely given. A new beginning in terms of um, anything that you're thinking of, in terms of your dreams, your desires. So there is going to be um, for you, if it hasn't happened now, it will, or it it possibly will in the next few weeks. Um, so pay attention to um, what you really, really want. Really manifest your true desires. There will be an offer, um, speaking of that truth for yours, um, speaking of the star card here, for your dreams, desires to be fulfilled. So this is communication. Um, this is something for you, um, universally given by the hand of God. Um, you see an eagle there too. So yes, there will be something that you may need to um, take a new class or sign up for any class that you've always wanted to sign up for. There's so many things we can do on the web, um, a webinar, a seminar, something to um, provoke thought and it adds to your, um, it adds to they're giving me a word here it adds to the structure of your abundance okay so this will bring in abundance um for you okay and then your guiding card i hope that makes sense so a uh, new beginning in, and in terms of communication thought education um adding to your resume tweak your resume it usually has to do with something of the intellect, okay? Uh, the sword suit is um, the mind. So something uh, you may be diving into in the next uh, three to four weeks or so. Okay, so pay attention to any of your dreams um, during this time because um, you can really manifest all the truth that you seek within that Ace of Swords. Okay. So very good reading thus far. And what is guiding? Hey, all right. Awesome. What's guiding you is Wheel of Fortune. Um, called the Wheel of the Year in the Witch's Tarot deck. The Wheel of the Year. So luck is on your side. That's what's guiding you. Luck is on your side. So, um, what does that mean in terms of um, tarot? Is that... Um, the wheel moves always in a circle. When it's upright, it means that um, your desires, your wishes, um, the things that you feel um, haven't been so easy, now they are, okay? They, you are lucky in terms of all aspects of your life. Really resonate with what you feel um, grateful Four, that's a way of manifestation too, and also a really healthy way of waking up in the morning and just really feeling um, peaceful, being grateful, and luck is on your side. So that just means moving forward. You will be very, very lucky, whatever this truth is that's coming to you and something intellectual, your dreams, desires, luck is on your side. This is a really good reading. Uh, Sagittarius, I'm happy for you. Some of them have been quite heavy for October, but it is um, a new season. So in Canada, we have full on fall. It's very hot out where I am and we're above temperatures. And uh, I think that's fantastic. So that's what's helping you, right? Or that's what's guiding you. Luck is on your side. You're very, very lucky in so many ways. So really um, count your... Um, blessings really manifest your dreams there's going to be something new in terms of maybe business education um, a promotion perhaps an aha moment this could be like oh yeah what about i never even thought about that that makes so much sense um and it's given from the universe you know as we resonate with the universe um we are part of that um energy right okay what's helping it doesn't seem like you need any help in this, but what is helping Sagittarius um, moving forward? And 
yeah, uh, Sages are a very cheery bunch. And when people aren't getting along, they're not so cheery. <laughs> they they don't like that. So they will just go out and travel. People aren't getting along. They're like, all right, see ya. I'll be back in a week. See how you guys are doing. <laughs> so that's the very um, sweet and charming way that Sagittarius deal with conflict, for example. So, um, but they're very good listeners. Very, They make very good friends. Um, very thoughtful, very kind. Okay, what is helping Sag? Okay, the Queen of Swords. Okay, so this is a queen. Um, this is a divorced queen. Okay, um, very experienced, very wise, very knowledgeable, um, communicates her vision, her thoughts. Uh, that is what's helping you. This could be you or someone you know, um, reverse roles, however you feel it fits. Um, so what's helping you is that you're listening and receiving, or there's someone that's on your side that is listening to you, taking that in and offering advice. And this is sound advice. This is a very wise, experienced queen, um, divorced from the king of swords. Um, not a grumpy queen, but really speaks frankly. And uh, I always say to speak frankly, speaks openly and and very much knows um, her stuff or his stuff. Okay, so gender doesn't matter in tarot. So someone that is listening and giving knowledge um, from a wide range of experience, education. This is the queen that will um, say what needs to be said to cut out the rest, okay, because not all energy is needed, and they use a sword, but they're really just cutting through air, so what I love about the Queen of Swords, I think she gets a bad rap, and I don't like it, but um, because it's, it's, a, it's a Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra card, so um, speaking their truth, and their, from their experience, to help, though, a situation, um, when they speak, people listen, it's just to cut out what is no longer um, necessary. So there could be someone in your environment, in your surroundings, and you're needing, it could be that because you've been speaking your truth, you've been speaking up, you've been saying, very logical um, queen, saying what needs to be said, cutting out the BS, and just really, you know, that's it. And so she takes charge of that. You see her feet here are on a cushion. She's she's not moving. She's she's stubborn in nature for a reason. She's there for a reason too. She has a throne for a reason. So what's helping you is uh the communication that to cut out what no longer serves you. And um it's done so just just because it's for the good of all. Okay? They would it the queen wouldn't speak um in any ill tone unless it was necessary to do so. And she just says things the way she does because that's how that's how experienced she is. That that won't work this well. Um very much in her thought, um, educated. Okay, so I think she gets a bad rap because she's divorced and terrible. <laughs> but um very wise. Okay. She's there for a reason. And you see there's a dragonfly um at her feet. You know, she's even sitting on a cliff where she can fall back, but she knows she's not going to fall back. And there's some, I think it's a mountain in front of her or some, something. She's not worried. She has flowers in her lap. She is a very gifted queen in terms of communication and knowing when to say no. That's one of the, that's what the queen says is no or yes. But many times she'll listen, she'll receive the message. She'll be very logical, very quick thinking. And then yes or no. Um, so that's why I do like the Queen of Swords. And then any warning signs. So you're, si you're the Queen or King of Wands. The one suit. It would be your um, tarot and energy. Okay. Warning signs for Sagittarius. So I'm going to pull Keepers of the Light and Angel Ancestors at the end. So if you do have a yes or no question, think of it now. Or if you do have something you want to ask 
your angels. Think of that now. I will be pulling from that. I'm not sure if I'm going to do any more oracles beyond that. Depends on my time. So any warning signs for our beautiful, charming Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is born, um, right? Um, well, you know when you're born, but others, if you're cross-watching cross, cross -watching for Sag, I don't know why I, I thought of this, but if anyone's cross-watching, uh, their birthdays are the um, end of November to the 20th or 21st-ish of, um, I believe it's the 21st. That's the first quote timeline for Sag. So that's when their birthday is. And I guess a cross watcher may have wanted to do that. Um, so it goes to December 21st is their birthday. And then Capricorn is after that. And oh, happy Thanksgiving for those in Canada who are celebrating. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Lots of uh, family, uh, friendships, turkey, um, why was I scared to say turkey? Turkey, don't be upset about Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope it's very uh, abundant, bountiful, um, loving, all that good Thanksgiving um, gratefulness that we feel. All right, so we have your cards. Okay, that's you. You're doing good, Sad. You're doing so good. Oh my gosh. I love it. I just think oh, this is a really good reading for you. Honest, it is good. So, morning sign. Uh, watch your giving nature, okay? It's the Six of Pentacles. So, warning. You could be giving too much of your energy to something. That's why this is what's helping you. Cut out what no longer serves you, okay? Luck is on your side. No need to worry. Your dreams matter. You need to know that. There is a lot of um, things that you might be learning. And um, you may feel an inspirational pull to learn new things. One thing that I will say about this card is that there there is an imbalance. Something to do with coin, wealth, money, family. There's an imbalance. Watch your energy during this time. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself and that you are receiving just as much as you are giving because I see that you are are very, very giving um, here. Though your dreams do matter and you want to make sure with the star card because that's a beautiful card to start off with. Um, that's really um, the first card out is the most um, essence of the tarot for whatever collective it is. Okay, so you have a very good reading and I'm happy to see that. Um, the Wheel of Fortune just fell on my lap, so I'm pretty happy about that too. Okay, so warning sign, watch your energy, watch your output. Too much work could, could lead to, um, I don't wanna say exhaustion, but it can. Um, just make sure that Things are even. Things are fair. Make sure that you're being treated fairly. You do have dreams and desires to fulfill. And that is your given birthright. You are building and creating and using your insight with the life purpose card. And what was your very card? Yes, ask for help. So really from the core, just really ask for any help you need in any way. There's so many ways to ask for help from our angelic beings that are beside us. I do believe that in our um, past over loved ones. So really um, speak to them just as you would anyone else. Say what you need, say what you want, say what help you may need in terms of giving and receiving because this could really, it's a bigger thing than people realize. This could really knock someone off their feet if they're too giving. And I am a true testament of that. I'll just, and so make sure that it, you feel it is safe to receive. And you are, you know, very well loved by your angel team. And uh, they are here with you because this, this queen of swords is basically 
um, what's guiding you forward. So you have learned so much, um, and that is a challenge. Uh, they are challenging you to self-educate or add on to um, any intellectual um, aspects of life that you're needing to. That will help you, okay? And what to let go of is the Two of Cups. There could be a relationship um, that maybe is out of um, alliance with the ebb and flow. This should be a natural ebb and flow uh, with the universe, right? So we know where when we're in flow. This could be the energy of um, feeling universally guided from our angels, ancestors, whatever you believe in, um, your faith, okay? Uh, letting go of the Two of Cups. So there could be a relationship um, that you're needing to let go of, either energetically, if uh, you are feeling out of balance, learn different ways possibly to regain balance. It said go for a walk for a week, one week, and um, letting go of this um, relationship. It does say that. That's what the angels are saying in the letter. And so that is up to you. You have free will. Um, it is difficult to let go. And your end result is that you're moving on to safer ground, calmer waters. You're moving on from um, whatever it is that could be holding you back at this time. And it seems that it is the energy of the, the warning sign of the equal give and take. You're moving on from this relationship. Um, they're saying that will help you. Um, if you need to meditate on that, um, they're saying go for a walk. Really regain your strength. If you need time to yourself, things like that, really take that time. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is uh, Four of Swords, which means rest, renew, recharge. Really make sure you're taking care of yourself um, and really uh, recharge those batteries so that your energy is restored because this is your warning sign um, for that. Okay, so I'm going to clarify for you. Um, and I don't need to clarify a lot because these cards are really, really good. I'm just going to clarify for you. Okay, so I was clarifying the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Six of Swords. The cards and the, my angel team goes is fast. So um, that's what I was clarifying. So which one came first? Okay, there's this one, Knight of Pentacles. Um, so someone has been in and out of your life, possibly. This could be someone, a friend, family. It could be, of course, I'm saying it's a relationship because you did get the Two of Cups here. Uh, they're saying that this is in and out. This is playboy, play bet play at energy so that um, the ebb and flow of the night is not serving your highest good. It is in the warning category with your six of pentacles, um, which is giving and receiving. So there is a night of pentacles um, that they are saying, okay, this is a warning. It's clarifying the uh, natural giving and receiving, and it is causing um, conflict for you. So then what came out was three of swords and that was for two of cups. So really looking what they're wanting you to do is not just let go of the relationship, but also pay attention to how, if this relationship has hurt you, um, if there wasn't a, a, a offering of giving and receiving of any kind that could really after a long period of time cause a lot of heartache. So really pay attention to that because um, that two of cups, um, if you feel that, oh, you really do say you really do like this person, you really do it. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus energy. You're really not wanting to let go. They're saying really then look at the heart of the matter. Look at the pain. If you're not wanting to let go of this, really look at that um, heart that you have and has it been hurting you? They want to ask you that and you would be able to come up with your own uh, conclusions about that. And then when I, I was going to clarify um, the last card, the end result for you in the tree of life, moving on to higher ground, higher waters, a better place, an, a different energy altogether, 
moving forward is the four of wands, which is a happy home. Okay. And that is um, what matters for you as you move forward. That's the end result. So really taking a look at this pain will serve you well, even if it's hard. Cut out what no longer serves you. Okay. Um, and energetically so. And um, yes, you, your, your wishes are fulfilled and you have dreams, you have di desires. Make sure you hold on to them. Don't tell any about anyone about them. It looks like um, the energy within that is off balance. There is someone in your life, male or female, um, that is in and out and it's causing a lot of um, energy in balance. Okay, so you want to make sure that you're in full balance, in harmony is what I mean, um, to restore. Really look at the pain, look at the heart of the matter, and happy home, moving on. That is what I will clarify for you. Okay, so I will do the... Okay, so very good reading. I'm happy to see that your October is going well. So if you have any questions... Now is the time if you want to pause the video. <laughs> okay, so we do have a timeline here. Um, if you want to pause the video and just meditate on um, or just think about anything you want to know, I put the Keepers of the Light and the Angel Answers together. I find it gives a more clear picture of our um, the Oracle and any messages from the Oracle. So I hope you enjoyed um, your reading such. Please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I enjoyed your reading. Good energy. Really light. It was really light. Well, you start off as star card, so that's the, the best card. Well, the happiest card is the sun card. The, I feel the best card is the star. It's that star really has to work for her dreams, her achievements, goals. And they're just saying, you know, pay attention to thoughts too that come to mind. Pay attention to anything in terms of healing. Meditation, possibly, this could be something that helps you. Going for a nature walk like we discussed already. All right. So... I'm just asking for any other messages for you. And then we will see you next time on Tease Tarot. Thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for watching my no makeup session as I um, felt like doing a reading for you, Sag, here. And um, if the messages resonate, uh, let me know. The 40th person to comment wins a reading. Everything's in the description box below. We have a lot of messages for you. Happy to see um that there is so if you had questions about anything these cards are amazing so if you had a timeline question which i said there is one it's a year from now okay so that could be helpful for you if you're needing to know of you know when am i going to move on to from this energy for your happy home this is happy home okay and then uh, Mary Magdalene, future awakens, you have something important to share, follow the inner call, don't let anything stop you. Now that is exactly what the star card is talking about. I cannot show the star because she is not dressed, right? Star <laughs> um, Mary Magdalene, teacher awakens, you have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. And ask for help from your um, spirit team. Success. Yes. There's something better. All right. So it could be a person, place, thing, whatever it is, the energy that you feel there is something better for you that is coming. So that's really, really great after this three of um, swords. Was I calling it three of hearts? Anyway, three of swords. Uh, and you're ready. You are ready. And just trust. Trust yourself and your, in all your light, your being. Look at all the light there. Trust in the process of learning, okay, and um, growing. And also trust that luck is on your side, okay. 
and it looks like you're doing a fabulous job. Um, anything else? Okay, what you don't see coming at the bottom of this deck is loss in pleasure. So yeah, there will be times of sadness. You do have the three of swords. So really feel that energy, okay? It's okay to feel sadness, loss, grievance. They're asking you to feel that and then let let that go. This is when you're letting go. Really know about the ebb and flow of giving and receiving because you do not want to wind up with less cups. You want more cups. Um, cups represent love. Okay, so that's Scorpio, Sagittarius, or sorry, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Okay, so what we have on the board here is Gemini, uh, Aquarius, of course, with the star card. Um, we don't have any wands. Oh, yes, we do. Sagittarius, okay. Um, Sagittarius, Leo, and... I always forget one. It doesn't matter. Any time of the day, I forget one. Aries. I don't know why I do that. Then we have Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Um, really heavy on the sword suit, it looks like. And again, Scorpio, Cancer, and um, Pisces. And a lot of Aquarius, Gemini. Yeah. And... Uh, Libra. Okay. All right. So that is your reading. Just reading the cards more. It's, it's going to pull out um, overall energy for this month for you. Yeah, I was like, just, okay. Overall energy. What's the overall energy for Sagittarius to take with them this month for their highest purpose? Thank you. Again, we have um, two of cups, love. Okay, so you are focused on love. I feel that um, the overall energy is about love and you are deserving of love. Okay, so there could be a new love romance um, starting. Um, letting go of this possibly could help or looking at the heartache. This could be a resurgence of love or uh, a new person. So there is a new person coming in for you with you. Um, so that's your overall energy, love. So you are loving. You should be loved. You shall be loved. All right. So thanks for watching Tease Tarot, my no makeup session. And uh, I hope you enjoyed your reading, Saj, and I will see you next time. Have a very happy Thanksgiving and uh, enjoy.